Most of the great musicians of all time, they don't just practice music when they're at their instrument. In fact, most of their practice is done in their everyday life, particularly by ear training. And actually, this is really good timing for me to do so because I'm actually just going on a road trip across America from Southern California all the way east to Oklahoma. So here we are at one of my favorite places to practice ear training. That's right, the gas station or anywhere in fact where you enter your pin number or your zip code. Anytime you enter a number, you can practice singing that number just like this. So you just assign it a scale like C major scale or C minor scale and you'll start singing the scale degrees of your number. One, three, five, seven, seven, five, three, two, four, five, two, one. Or you could sing the major scale. One, two, three, five, five, six, four, three, three, two, five, one, one, three, five, seven. So those are just a few examples. It's pretty geeky, but it's good practice. And if you find this idea interesting, you could actually write your own composition using your pin number. So when I was doing my music masters, I took my student number at the time, which was 7127 and I assigned those notes to the major scale so I ended up with B, C, D and B and then I started accompanying those notes with different chords like A minor or A flat major And I came up with a whole composition just based on my student number. Now when we arrived in Denver, I filmed a whole series of songs which I transcribed by ear in the men's restroom of all places. And although this was intended for educational purposes only, I've decided that I don't want to risk violating copyright, so I'm actually going to leave the audio out for this section. However, I will cut to the piano and I'll show you some of the concepts that I was talking about in this section. So this is a common melodic shape. G, F, E flat, C. And a lot of music just uses common shapes, so you just learn the shapes. So this is why common shapes are so important when it comes to transcribing. You have to know the common shapes. The more songs you transcribe, the more you learn these common shapes because you notice the same common shapes coming up in your melodies and your chord progressions. And as soon as you spot a common shape like this one, it tells you instantly where the melody is within the key because you don't want to be left with just intervals floating in space. You don't want to just hear minor third whole step whole step and not know where it fits within the scale. So by learning these common shapes, it actually tells you when you hear this common shape, which is an interval pattern, minor third whole step whole step, that it is very likely going to be C, E flat, F and G within our one key of C minor.
So this is a common melodic shape. G, F, E flat, C. So when you hear this interval pattern of minor third whole step, whole step, it is virtually guaranteed to be this location within C minor scale. The root, minor third, fourth, fifth. And once you've identified your location within the key, it then becomes very easy to just keep track of the melody as it moves from there. If you lose track of the melody, then you can always come back to this common shape, which is almost guaranteed to be repeated. So it's just using the same few repeated notes, because most melodies repeat the same few notes many times. So when you're transcribing, it's not like you have to transcribe every single note by ear from scratch. And the reality is that you'll get lots of repetition. So the few notes that you do transcribe by ear, you'll then hear them being repeated over and over again. And if you'd like more information on ear training, you can go to themusicalear.com. It's my website, there's a ton of free information. You can go through my free video series on ear training, which shows you how to practice ear training the right way and how not to practice ear training. You can also sign up for ear training email tips from me. These will be weekly emails which challenge you to transcribe songs by ear. And of course, if you'd like to take my complete flagship course in ear training, which is the Musical Ear course, you can sign up for the waitlist at themusicalear.com and I'll notify you by email when I next open enrolment. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next session of Everyday Ear Training. Okay, so here we are in Nebraska and tomorrow we'll be going to Kansas City.